What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. Can't you don't do shit? Amen. Say man. We are lit, eh? Lean through a teeth, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today? Come up in your day. Straight hood and side Big Crip, man. Amen. Say man. Your boy lit, eh? Hey, man. Your boy had to get some rest. Your boy, hey, out here. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to these videos up, man. Come to you as a black kid, Israelite, as a Jew, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to these videos, man. Fuck with your boy, man. Uh, keep on supporting us. <laughs> the grind do not stop, man. Uh, we gonna keep on doing our thing in this bitch, man. Uh, but yeah, man, this the hood, man. And yeah, let's get to this motherfucking video real quick, man. Give me a second. I just found this shit. <laughs> Head ass. Alright. Boom. <clears throat> we back. So today? Two motherfucking day? They're hitting outside crib, man. Hey, we finna talk about um some serious, serious shit that's been happening in the um in sports. You know what I'm saying? So everybody know about the jab. You know what I'm saying? So um you know the NBA and sports in general were forcing players to take the mandated vaccine jab. Now, you know some NBA players fought against that. And then be a, a, tr a control puppet. And went against taking that vaccine. Now we all know Kyrie Irving was the main one who was telling these people he's not going to get that vaccine. So I guess it came to find out that um, Sage Steele, um, you know, she's an uh, NBA analyst. She's been on ESPN for like over 16 years. You know what I'm saying? Been doing this for a minute. So, I guess she sued Disney Channel. Or Disney? Or the ESPN. I think Disney and ESPN. You know, they had the, um, they had the bubble. And that was in Disney. So, she sued them niggas over 500K for violating the First Amendment. Over the vaccine. Now I don't know if she took the vaccine. Or not. But. She had sued them niggas. And they came out the settlement. Was 501k thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying. Now. Uh, we got the video. Uh, explaining. What happened. And Why. She uh she sued them niggas and what happened in detail, man. So make sure I like, subscribe, these videos up, man. Um, Kevin Two Chain gonna be out here for a minute, man. All right. What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and today. We got to talk about Sage Steele leaving ESPN um, network she's been with for over 16 years. And she's leaving so she can exercise her First Amendment rights more freely. Now, we've seen some of Sage Steele's tweets and some of the things that she's leaning into that I personally agree with as far as, you know, um, there was a tweet she quoted about. I guess one of the politicians was talking about, you know, my daughter will not undress in front of two biological males. I'm all on board with that. As we've seen, you know, uh, some of this stuff has turned physical and you got people identifying as female that were born male uh, attacking 
biological females in the locker rooms and all kinds of stuff. And I wouldn't have no patience for that. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. But uh, back to what, you know, another thing that recently happened with, happened with Sage Steel and the network. ESPN has offered her $501,000 to settle a lawsuit to cover lawyer fees and all that after she sued them when she made some comments about the company's COVID-19 vaccine mandate. And, um, you know, she sued the parent company, Walt Disney, in April 2022 and said that her free speech rights were violated by trying to get her to take the shot. You know, Disney and ESPN, they released a statement and they said that, you know, them offering this settlement isn't an admission of guilt. And her lawyer, Brian Friedman, said that Disney and ESPN clearly admit their liability by offering to pay Sage more than half a million dollars for taking away her right to free speech. The offer misses the point. Disney cannot purchase their employees' constitutional rights, no matter how powerful they think they are. So, um... He continues to say, how about apologizing and treating people fairly? Let me put let me put it this way. Would Disney be willing to accept money from the state of Florida and Governor DeSantis in exchange for being silenced? Why the double standard? So he may make a good point, you know. Um, now, Sage was on Jay Cutler's podcast back in September, and she said um, Disney's vaccine mandate was sick and scary, and, and that's what caused all of this, right? So... She got suspended from ESPN for two days, kind of behind the scenes. And But ESPN is saying she wasn't suspended. Now, why is somebody going to make up that they were suspended? You know what I'm saying? Why is somebody just going to make that up when they could be easily proven? So that's just a conglomerate showing that, you know, uh, who's going to listen to her? You know, we we do what we do and we can cover our tracks. But that's not it. They said other ESPN talent is expected to depart in the coming days. So we're going to hear about other people leaving. And this is what I'll say about Sage Steele, right? Uh, now, I didn't agree when she had the Caucasian male reach over and touch her hair. You know, that left a lot of bad taste in uh, people's mouth about Sage Steele, including mine. I didn't like that because it was no place for that. Want to touch her like she a little monkey or something. I, I just, eh, I, that that was weird for me. But as far as um, her stance on a lot of things and her morals, especially when it comes to protecting our children uh, from agendas, I'm all on board for that. If you're not on board for that, this probably ain't the channel for you because I, I do draw that line in the sand when it comes to my girls. You know, I don't, we ain't, we encouraging them to be young women, you know, when they grow up. You can't let children just do what they want, you know, in no phase of their life, and this isn't any different. Now, when, when people, grown people do what they want, but, you know, when you're the parent for a reason, they're the child for a reason, and that's a lot of what Sage is talking about, and I think she more so wants to go in that type of thing. Just as Jamel Hill and those analysts wanted to go more into, um, you know, black empowerment and the I other issues that they support, um, I think Sage wants to go, you know, to that conservative type podcasting route and, you know, to each his own. That Everybody can do what they want as adults, you know what I'm saying? So uh, ESPN, though, what I will say is they got a big mess on their hands and has had it for years, man, and you starting to see people leave. And I think a lot of these networks is going to scoop these people up and use them the correct way. I think ESPN – has built a lot of people with a lot of notable, uh, they, like these people they're releasing ha actually have fans now. They've been with the network so long, they have a following. So that's the other part of business. You think you cut in costs, but you could also be throwing an alley-oop to the competition if they have the perfect fit for the, some of these people. You built them up. You got them their fans and now they're going to take a certain sector of fans over to some of your com competitors' networks. And I think ESPN is an accountant for that enough like they should be. Say still, man, I'm wishing her the best. I wish everybody the best when they leave uh, Disney or ESPN because I know from the outside looking in, it's like 
you fell from grace or you, you know, the biggest network let you go, the biggest sport broadcasting network let you go. So where can you go from here? But that's kind of the old way of doing things. You know, you can actually increase your dollar amount and, and, um, podcast, start your own channel, start your own network. Basically nowadays, um, well, you don't have to be on TV or nothing like that. So I, I think Sage, you know, is doing something that was, I think the writing was on the wall, matter of fact, when she sued the company. You People just don't stay there forever after that. Not normally. You know, it's always some friction or some behind the scenes tension just there. The air is thick just based off of what happened. And the higher ups, you know, they... We know how snobbish and brash those people are. So I feel like, you know, Sage, she, she got up out of there, man. And hey, we're going to see where she lands. Where y'all think Sage still going to land? You think she going to do sports? It seems like she could move into like Fox News or something like that. It seems like that may be her lane just based off of some of her views and some of the things that she's engaged in online. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Don't forget to. I'll be back. So if you didn't see from that bitch, man, um, say still, man, she been doing the ESPN for years. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be a dummy, man, to, like, get forced to take a vaccine. Like, you know, if somebody tell you, hey, if you don't do this, bruh, you gonna get you don't get you 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 can't play basketball, you can't do this. A lot of people was not sheep. You know what I'm saying? Um They fought against that vaccine mandate. You know what I'm saying? And like, like I was saying, man, they were going against her first amendment, bruh. And she sued them niggas. And she won. You know what I'm saying? It just goes to show you, bruh. If you fight back against the man, against the power that try to control people, that you can actually win. You know what I'm saying? Like, these big corporations and companies feel like they can do whatever they want to do with us people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we motherfucking sheep, cattle, motherfucking, like, you know what I'm saying? Animals, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't do shit. We got to walk in the line they want us to walk in. We got to go into the little pen they want us to go into. We got to do what they want us to do. They got, we got, they feed us what they want to feed us, fake food and all. Like, motherfuckers not going for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all niggas, fight back, you dummies. All you people who be watching my videos, and, I, and I'm not calling y'all dummies just to say y'all dummies, but niggas, fight back against what the government is trying to do against us, bruh. If you not been, if you not, did not been hearing about them wildfire fires that's been happening, bruh, all this shit is a control shit to control us, bruh. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to give us no money. They don't want to give us not a goddamn money. In that fucking fire that happened in Hawaii, they talking about giving only $700 for the crib that was burnt down to the ground. But they giving Ukraine over $40 billion for a weak ass shit that's already done been destroyed, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And Russia, they joined Africa. Africa is with them niggas, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And they helping them. Helping them. They released the debt that Africa owed to them. So it's like, why the fuck are us black Americans listen to what the government got to say about us? If they not for us. If they for us going to prison, killing us, getting free labor... Um, putting shit in our food, fake food, continues to humiliate, humiliate the black man, forcing us to take vaccines, to do all this weird ass shit, 
Why is us black Americans fighting so strong for America when they don't give a fuck about us? You know what I'm saying? The only thing these motherfuckers care about is the money on. They don't give a fuck about us. If they can't make no bread off of us, use us as test pu puppets, they don't give a fuck about us. You know what I'm saying? They just want to use us. They know who we are. We the black Hebrew Israelites. They using what they using us, bro. You know what I'm saying? And we following and motherfuckers following these dumbass rules that's made by America that the rules don't even support us, nigga. These rules not even for us, nigga. Why the fuck are y'all y'all bozos just going riding so goddamn hard for a, st a country that don't give a fuck about us? When our people in Africa. The people already unchose. They said, fuck no, we're not messing with America no more. Get the fuck out of our country. We're not using no goddamn money no more. Leave us the fuck alone. All they do is pillage other fucking countries, bruh. They pillaging other countries, bruh. They taking all the resources from Africa. They took us from Africa. They destroyed the, the, the black people that was already on America. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, the Indians, they were they was actually black people. Black people was the first ones on this fucking uh this 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 continent and they trying to change it. Bruh, we cannot keep on falling for these dumb ass traps, nigga. Like the vaccine. Like she been on this bitch for over 16 years. And they ready to get rid of her because she don't wanna take she don't wanna take the shit that they trying to give her. And they feel like and she feel like they violate her first amendment rights. So they trying to get rid of her because she sued them. And you know that the people who behind NBA, the ESPN, is motherfucking white, old white people who got a lot of money. Like, that's what they do, bro. They get all the goddamn money. And they leave us with nothing. We work 24-7 for a little peanuts. And now it's like, bro, American money's not even finna be the top dollar. Nigga, y'all don't understand that this money that is in America is not gonna be worth shit. They got a new, they got a new dollar that's coming out from um, it's not even a dollar, but you know what I'm saying. They got a new money that's coming out from um, Africa and all the other, con all the other countries that's joining together. It's gonna be 55 U.S. dollars to equal one of eight dollars. Nigga, America is is ruining and ruining us and the country. These government, these white people, these older ass white people, we not going for that shit no more, bruh. You know, you keep y'all countless, y'all countlessly trick black people to taking these vaccines, sending us to jail, killing us with police brutality, all this bullshit, and y'all expect us to ride for y'all bitch ass niggas. We ain't riding for shit, nigga. And you know, it's like everybody's coming is trying to say, do not go to work no more, bruh. Because if we stop going to work, bruh. We gonna overthrow these motherfuckers because the dollar's not worth nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, say man, y'all need to wake the fuck up, nigga. It's a, hey, it's about to be a war, bro. It's a, it's a civil war, bro. It's, it's about to go down, bro. Y'all, y'all not paying attention, bro. They hoeing us. The government is not for us. The, and you see the ESPN trying to mandate vaccines. That shit not for us, nigga. Y'all, y'all better wake the fuck up, nigga. Why is why y'all can y'all? I should be in bozos and shit. Y'all gotta understand that they don't have the best interest for black people. They wanna use us. And if they can mandate the vaccine on motherfuckers, they they using niggas. Hey man, say man, that's all I want to talk about today, man. Um shout out to Sage Steel, man, fighting against the, the man, man, against the power, man. These white people who try to, to try to put us down in the motherfucking chains. Nigga, we can't keep on going for that shit, bro. These white people not for us. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, y'all gonna learn one day. And it might be too late for y'all bozos. But, hey, man, make sure y'all like, subscribe this bitch up, man. And we out this bitch hood and outside crib. Hey, Dad, you know, dog, when we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Hold that camera,